a, it's a pleasure to be here. And as uh, Georgina has already mentioned, it has been a, a very exciting time in melanoma the, uh, the last two years. Uh, in 2011, two new drugs were approved, uh, the first drugs ever to show improved survival, and uh, the pace of development has really been, been breathtaking. Um, I'm here to talk uh, similarly to what uh, Georgina mentioned about combination BRAF and MEK inhibitors. Uh, as you can see uh, on the slide to the left, um, the, the pathway is, is uh, one of the prime mechanisms of resistant, resistance is reactivation of the pathway, uh, making MEK uh, a good target to, to try to overcome that resistance. Uh, as you can see on the, on the first graph there on the, on the graph, that both drugs, the BRAF and the MEK inhibitor, work alone, but when combined, they really produce uh, synergistic results. As you can see uh, in this portion of the slide, this patient was progressing on the BRAF inhibitor. You can see this uh, highlighted area there, the extensive tumor in the abdomen and in the pelvis. The prognosis for this patient was um, probably extremely poor. And in just uh, 14 days after the addition of the MEK inhibitor to the RAF inhibitor, the response is uh, really dramatic. This uh, is the study, uh, the BRIM7 study, combining uh, Vemurafenib, a BRAF inhibitor, and uh, GDC0973, the MEK inhibitor. And uh, this shows the 10 cohorts that were uh, done in the study looking at um, escalating doses of the MEK inhibitor and uh, uh, lower doses, 720, uh, of the BRAF inhibitor and then uh, the standard dose of uh, 960. So this way the, uh, the doses of the MEK inhibitor increase. Uh, and here uh, the, the uh, variable was really looking at the change in the schedule from a 21 days on dose to seven days off to uh, continuous dosing, again with two different doses of the MEK inhibitor. Um, the toxicities encountered in the study, uh, many of the patients, 95% uh, of them had some number of adverse events. About 30% uh, ended up having serious adverse events. Usually, by that we mean grade three or four. And you can see that mo most commonly uh, these consisted of rash, diarrhea, photosensitivity or sunburn, fatigue, and nausea. Attributable to the drugs uh, also were uh, specific side effects uh, to the MEK inhibitor, chorioretinopathy, and in particular, I'll call your attention to squamous cell carcinoma. As uh, this is a side effect of the BRAF uh, inhibitor, and as in the prior study, the frequency of this was uh, significantly decreased. We had only one uh, case among all of the patients who developed the uh, squamous cell carcinoma, and uh, mechanistically, it's been defined. The one patient who did um, experience this uh, in fact, had a very low level of the MEK drug. And uh, again, the responses, this is in the, un, in the uh, previously BRAF untreated group. And you can see uh, we start out at the baseline of zero and virtually every, every patient uh, showed some evidence of tumor regression. Um, this is an early study, less follow-up than the previous one. But it's uh, very encouraging to see uh, such a high response rate and uh, essentially concerning, uh, confirming what Georgina has already presented. That's what I had. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you all.